everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today I am going to do a fried chicken that does not have a coating on it. And my husband absolutely loves this chicken. I had actually learned this chicken when I got married from my mother-in-law. She's a very good cook. So I had learned it from her and I've been doing this ever since. Now, um, this is a very simple recipe. I have a video of this that I had done. This was one of my first second videos that I had done. So the quality is not good at all and people ask me all the time and I'm like okay you know what let me do a clear quality video of the fried chicken because this you can use in my Spanish rice and I have a couple more recipes that uses just the fried chicken so um, very very simple recipe very simple recipe I have some potatoes which is french fries that are going here while my chicken is gonna get marinated I just prepared my french fries and they're frying up over here, so it's going to be a great dinner today. So, to get started, um, let me grab another spoon since I did end up putting this spoon in my chicken, so I'm not going to use this. Alright, so what we're going to do is I have here, so you can see properly, I have here two chickens that are completely cleaned and um, they're from the butcher I had them um, cut in eight pieces so there are two whole chickens you can use thighs you can use leg quarters you can use just drumsticks you can use um, also you can use uh, chicken breast if you like so in here I'm going to do a good uh, tablespoon and a half of ginger and garlic now you can uh, reduce the this uh, ginger and garlic if you like but I absolutely love these this chicken with the um, ginger and garlic in it. And then I'm also going to add about a tablespoon and a half of the chili garlic sauce. Now I wanna show you here what kind of sauce is it because I get a lot of questions. It is the chili garlic sauce. It's got the little rooster on it and it's it always has a green top to it. So, and it says, Hai Fung Foods Incorporated, Incorporated. So if you're looking for it, look for the rooster and the green top. I'm just going to quickly take these out. I apologize for that. But this is what I usually do is I get, you know, before I get, when I have, uh, I'm working in the kitchen, I kind of multitask and get at least one thing's on the way before, you know, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna. I'm gonna marinate the chicken for about 20 minutes. Um, but if you have time and if you can do it overnight, obviously, the marination, the longer it stays the with the chicken, obviously it's gonna be better. So I'm just going to drain this really quickly and then. And I also have a video of uh, French fries. So if you guys wanna watch that, that's good. Homemade French fries are just a treat. We make them at least maybe once in two months i don't deep fry very often the french fries but my husband loves it so i just treat him once in a little while with the french fries all right i'm just gonna get these other ones in there real quick and then we'll continue with our recipe is been marinating here in fact for more than 20 minutes and it's ready to go into the fryer now this oil is already hot because uh, like I said that I was doing french fries here um, homemade french fries so it's really nice and hot but a test that you could do is you could just take one piece and just so that's great now because this chicken does not have a coating at it, you might have some splattering going on. So just letting you know that be careful and expect the splattering, okay? It's gonna happen. Don't overcrowd the pan, but I should be able to get the two chickens done in about 
uh, three times. So this is one, and then probably need to fry the other bat in, in two in two batches. The other thing you want to do is you also want to cover the chicken. The reason why you're gonna cover the chicken, in fact, I'm gonna start my timing. You want to cover the chicken because what's gonna happen is the steam that's inside. See that steam? See that steam? That steam is going to actually make the chicken super tender inside. It's gonna cook it really well. And then when we open it, we're gonna let it fry for two, three minutes, and that's gonna crisp the outside. So this chicken is skinless. I hardly ever do any chickens at home with the skin on. So I'm going to time this. When we come back, I'll tell you exactly how long this chicken took and as far as the heat, I just want you to see here, it's about medium low right now. So as long as it's bubbling, you're pretty good. If you think that it's, um, that you need a little bit more heat, you're fine. Just go ahead and um, increase the heat just a little bit. So again, when I come back, I'll let you know how long the you chicken see here that our pieces have just fried up beautifully. I love this color. So I'm just gonna, drain this out make sure you try and drain as much out as you can the oil also i will be putting it in a tray that has been lined with a paper towel so it catches more oil on it So once they uh, come out of the oil, usually what I do is I like to hit it with, oh, this is my new one. Um, I like to hit it with more pe uh, lemon pepper. Um, completely optional. If you have another um, cayenne or uh, if you wanna hit it with cayenne, paprika, Cajun seasoning, whatever you like, you can just add up just for that little zing that's gonna come with <clears throat> So I've got this going on here. I'm just gonna add these pieces on there. Now I also am going to be serving this with my secret red chutney recipe that video is on youtube if you want to watch it i'll try and put a link up there for you guys to watch as far as the taste test i seriously am super super hungry today so i'm gonna grab a wing piece here that has cooled down if you can see in here it's cooked really well right It's soft, it's juicy, it's falling right off the bone. It's, it's perfect. So remember, once you put it in, 15 minutes covered. Lift the cover up, you let it um, get that color on there between five, four to five minutes, and then start putting it on a tray lined with paper towel. But this is super delicious. It's just Sometimes it's just nice to have chicken without a coating on there. So this is one of my family's favorite, favorite dishes. And I usually have it once a month, at least at our house on a Friday. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. If you make this or any other dishes from Rihanna's Cuisines, please snap a quick pic. Put it on social media and hashtag it for Hannah's Cuisines.